What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome back to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and back to another fan outfit review video. If you still don't follow me on Instagram, you might have missed that I posted on my stories and have gotten literally hundreds of submissions from you guys to review your outfit in my opinion. So I don't want to waste too much time talking right now, let's jump right in and I got 30 outfits that I somewhat randomly picked today to give you guys feedback and to hopefully compliment you on anything and everything that you've learned from my channel so far. First one up and a beautiful example of, of what I do a lot on my channel. So we got a navy suit with a white t-shirt tucked in without a belt, beautifully done. White sneakers with the white t-shirt. I think the white sneakers are uh, fabric or they almost look like Vans. I would probably just upgrade them to like a leather sneaker. I think it's a little bit more chic. And then you have the little pocket square just peeking out, beautifully combined the colors. The corona in hand, ready for the summer. Beautiful. Then we got Emil in all black with some white accents. We have a button down shirt underneath a black sweater with a logo. Usually not a big fan of logos, but in this case it kind of works for me. I uh, really like the high top Converse, I believe. If they're not Converse, then they definitely have been inspired by Converse. Uh, nice, uh, nicely rolled up the black skinny jeans here. I think the semi-tuck uh, is, it works. I probably, I, I don't do the semi-tuck often if it's underneath a sweater. I'd rather do the semi-tuck when it's just a shirt. Last note on the frames, really nice. Uh, rounding out the black, oh, oh, holy achromatic look works for me and then tying in with the watch also great and staying achromatic with the next one got I'm getting like serious Coachella vibes with this where you have the bandana around the forehead black ripped jeans and a black short sleeve shirt with white sneakers pretty straightforward I think the white sneakers is always something that that's kind of throws me off if you have an all black look just to have a white same with the vice versa all white and then just black. It's a little bit too harsh of a contrast for me, so I would have opted for maybe black sneakers, and I think that's the one thing I would imp improve, change, for this look. Then we've got Musai. All right, give me a second here. I, okay, first thought, I love the denim jacket. I think overall, it's a lot going on, and I think the pieces themselves are amazing. The jacket is beautiful. Uh, it's oversized, but I think that works. The t-shirt is simple enough. I like a little off-white t-shirt that's excellent. Even the jeans are probably a little bit too much for me, but isolated, I would love them. I think overall, it's a little bit too much going on. And the one one big thing for me would be the shoes. I, I personally am not a big fan of, of those shoes or the that style of shoes in general. I would want to see a sneaker with this. It feels too relaxed. It, it feels too street for a, a shoe this dressy. That's my feedback here. Then we got Gerardo, a little bit more of a unique angle when it comes to the photo, but we can still see the entire outfit and I think it looks phenomenal. We got a cable knit uh, cardigan with a knit striped tie, a white button down shirt with the top button unbuttoned. Really nice to picking up that casual vibe for the look. It's not a suit, it's suit pants and a cardigan. So really well done here. Um, I really love the sneakers as well. I think the one thing that's a little bit too much for me is the socks. I don't think you needed extra color. Uh, you already have that color in the shoes and it's not perfectly matching the, the red and the blue as far as I can tell from this photo. So I think you could have opted for a simple gray or, or beige sock and it would have worked better for me, but overall beautiful outfit. Not super spring, a little bit fall, but I'm letting this one slide. All right, from Germany, we have a, I think, beautiful outfit. It's a little bit too effeminate for me personally, but I think he pulls it off really well. The, the two bold blue tones are just different enough for me to actually work between the backpack and the blazer. Um, I like the way he used the handkerchief around his neck uh, just to give it a little extra touch. And then we have a nice tonal earth, like light earth tone base for this with chinos, uh, t-shirt and beautiful double monks. I, I like the look, I do. I, again, I think for me, I, I would probably, uh, I've done the neckerchief before. I haven't so much recently because I thought uh, it didn't work for me, but I still, I, I do like this a lot. Then we got Nuno. Oh, this is sick. I love this. Um, nice denim shirt tucked in over a white t-shirt with a chain on the suit pants that are cropped to mid ankle and a pair of white sneakers. I think even the, the, the watch and the shades look beautiful. One thing I'll say, I, I personally don't love the clip buttons on the denim shirt. As you can see, I'm sitting here in a uh, denim shirt and I like the traditional buttons. It's something that looks too Western for me and makes it not, a little bit less versatile. But the chain looks beautiful, no belt, good choice. I like tucked in and rolled up the sleeves. Honestly, it's styled really well. I think the, on, the one thing uh, would be the denim shirt. And possibly the sneakers, they look a little low. Their, their profile, uh, their, their height up to the ankle, I, I mean. 
Get a pair of Ankari floors and you won't have that issue. <laughs> oh, great, low on battery. <laughs> Next up we got Shahid, I believe your name is, and a nice combo of a brown tone and these two like muddy earth tones, like a nice earth tone color. I think it's interesting that you chose to base, uh, like round it out with a black back and the black converse, but it works for me. I think white or staying within the brown uh, earth tone range would have probably worked a little bit better, but I love the blazer. It's a nice two button. It's really nice and legere. I like the styling a lot. The pants look great. Um, I love the tab in the middle and, and the, the way you played with the colors here really, really works for me. And the fact that you picked up the black in the shades, in the bag and in the sneakers really, really um, ties it together and, and works for me. Next up, we got Eric here out of Brooklyn and also playing with earth tones. Definitely a much more fall inspired than what we just saw that was more in the spring vibe. For me personally, the fit is a little bit too relaxed, but we're also talking about a generational difference here and you always have to dress for your age. So for me, this absolutely works. The styling is done really well. I think the scarf looks beautiful and the way he tied it as well. Obviously the grooming is impeccable. And I think the boots are a little worn in, which obviously is a look. I don't know if I, if I personally would, um, I personally don't love them so much. Um, I really like the scarf. The scarf is kind of like the highlight for me in this, in this um, outfit. But I've seen a few of Eric's photos and he definitely knows what he's doing. Then we got Jorge and I, oh, this is cool. I like it. It's very simple, but sometimes the simple things just work. Uh, it's a white t-shirt that's a little bit oversized, I wanna say. At least the shoulder is a little bit sloped down um, with a really simple graphic. The older you get, you don't necessarily wanna go into graphic t-shirts all that much. It's a very, very much a juvenile thing, but I think this is a very minimal one. And obviously you can still be youthful. Uh, I have graphic shirts. It's not like I'm saying you can't have them. Just be a little bit more wary as you get older, not to be walking around with like a Superman t-shirt unless you're doing it, uh, like, unless it's like a classic. Anyway, getting off track. Um, I like the minimal design on the t-shirt and the fact that he tucked it in without the belt on the tapered cargo pants. They're sick. I, I would love to know where they're from. So if you're seeing this, actually, yeah, because the DMs are freaking crazy. If you're seeing this, Jorge, okay, uh, le let me know. Uh, black, black Converse, once again, nicely done. Uh, I like it, the earth tone with the white and black combo. Simple and it looks great. Next outfit, we once again have black Converse. Man, you guys love Converse probably just as much as I do. Well, I have got a video coming for you guys. You stay tuned. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to change that so you don't miss out on that video, whether or not you love Converse because there's so much more content coming. But let's focus on this outfit. We got black, white, and then a earth tone sweater. I think the earth tone sweater, oh my God, I'm stumbling over that word. Maybe size down and have it be a little bit more tight and uh, a little bit more fitted. I love the jeans, I love the roll up, uh, I love the way you tight your uh, commerce exactly like I do, just around once. The shades look beautiful. It's a, it's a simple look, so I don't, honestly don't have much to say other than maybe, maybe upgrade the sweater, uh, but it looks good to me. Then we got Yasin and something a little bit more experimental. We got a light blue Calvin Klein sweater underneath, what are you calling? A uh, jumpsuit, jumper? Uh, with, I believe they were, those are Yeezys, aren't they? Fine, those are Yeezys, right? Sure. <laughs> we don't know. I, I should know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on, Ye on Yeezys fashion. I'm more so on music, so I don't know, excuse me. But feedback, I think maybe, I know it's a look you're going for, but I personally think it's really, really hard to, to pull off the jumpsuit. I think the way, the way it's easier for me, is it not a jumpsuit? What do, what do you call it when it's not a, man? I can't speak. Overalls, thank you. So the overalls, yeah, they're over, over. Overalls are hard to pull off, so is a jumpsuit. But I think uh, what, what's easiest for me is always just kind of letting it dangle down low. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it. <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> Anyway, the one shoulder I think it needs to be a little bit more relaxed because the fit of them is a little bit more relaxed and you're going for a street wear vibe so I would at least loosen it a little bit, the strap, so it's like there's a little bit of room. I think it works, don't get me wrong, but I think there's room for improvement in styling this, but it's also a difficult challenge. Then we got Bo. Uh, this, looks, this looks solid. I feel like I have all of those pieces in my closet. A black biker jacket, a white, a, a gray sweater, blue skinny jeans, and I actually have literally these uh, Comme des Garçons X Converse sneakers. I think there's, the, and, and you might call me out for saying this, but I think the, the jeans might be a little bit too tight. Uh, something about it is a little off, and, and actually no, not too tight, too saturated. They're too blue. If they were a little bit more faded, or gray jeans, or black jeans, I think it would work a lot better. But having the gray black and the off-white, 
and then that's that saturated blue. It might be the filter too. That's the one thing I would change, and I'm not a fan of the glasses, uh, personally. I would go for, if you, I'm, not, I'm okay with the aviator shape, but go for something a little bit more classic, like just a gunmetal outside with uh, dark green lenses or black lenses. That would be my opinion. Next up, we got John, and I really, I like what we have here. I, it's, it's, it looks almost like achromatic, but I think that's a filter once again. So ideally, send me your unfiltered photos so I can really see the colors of everything. But it seems to have like a green base, greenish base, a beautiful cargo pan. I love this actually, I would love to know where that's from also. Black Converse, once again with the white socks, nicely done with a New York hoodie. Underneath an elongated bomber, um, the beanies worn gray, the shades are awesome. Like, it's a great look. It's really well done, I think. Uh, yeah, even notice the fact that he, he flipped in the hoodie to, to kind of like play with the length of both halves of the body. Uh, black watch, fantastic. I have, honestly have nothing to say. And staying in the street vibe, we have uh, a lot more color and we got camo again. If you remember the first time, I told you I'm not the biggest fan of camo, but he pulled it off. I also love the photo itself. It almost looks like it's ripped apart, but he took the base color for the photo um, out of the outfit. So it's almost like you kind of get the vibe of the outfit through the background. I love those pants. I'm not entirely sure what those straps are, but they look really nice. Whether or not they're functional, I don't care. They look cool. Uh, the sneakers, I think you see how here it's just not hitting perfectly. Um, and since it's a little bit more street, I might consider rolling them down so they really hit on the shoe and you have a nice like silhouette that's continued. But otherwise, I love the orange hoodie, obviously picking up on the orange tabs of the zipper of the camo jacket. I think that works fantastically. I think the gold watch, I mean, I don't, I'm not a big fan of uh, one, gold, and two, big, big watches. I think this one is a little bit too big for me, uh, especially with having some of the... This is silver? I don't really know. So I think the only thing for me would be the wash and roll down the pants and that's it. Next up, we got a combination of Bordeaux and black. Uh, very much to my liking, as you guys know, I love matching my upper half with my lower half. I've done that recently in several videos. I think uh, these, these the pants are too skinny for me. I think uh, you, you gotta realize that your legs are definitely like a little bit more thick in a, in a, in a muscular way, but that, that looks, it, it looks too thin and too tight for me personally. I, uh, otherwise, e even the sneakers, which are actually fairly slim, look almost a bit bulky in comparison to, to the silhouette of your leg. Uh, I love the bomber, simple black t-shirt, no feedback there other than works, always works. Um, so that's it for me here. All right guys, running out of time. It's not gonna be 30, it's gonna be 20. I'm sorry, otherwise this video is gonna be way too long. Maybe we'll do a live stream for hours where I just go through all of your outfits one day. If you like that idea, I've never done a live stream. If you like that idea, let me know. We could literally talk about fashion for hours and uh, make that happen. Anyway, so we got another achromatic combo. We got Converse again, or uh, they might be knockoffs. I, I, I don't know if they're knockoffs or, or just a different version. I honestly think the Converse is such a classic silhouette like, and they're not super expensive. I feel like opting for the original uh, definitely makes a difference in terms of like the way they're perceived. I think, uh, otherwise, I, I, wish you were, I wish you were standing up so I could see the whole look a little bit better. But I like the cable and sweater, definitely more of a fall vibe. Once again, if I ask for spring photos, try and get me your springiest photos or go out and take some on your phone, I don't care. The vest looks cool. The black slim chinos are fine. I think I would taper them a little bit. And the way you rolled them up, I'm not crazy about. I like a wider roll up, even if it's just one cuff. I think that's a little bit too too thin for me. And that's it. Another achromatic look. <laughs> no wonder the minimalist videos are doing so well on my channel. Uh, black denim jacket, gray sweater, black jeans, white sneakers, solid. Uh, hard to go wrong with, which is why I recommend it to anybody. Like, it's great, e easy to look great in. I see the silver watch that looks good to me. I... The one thing is a little bit, like, you see the fit around the knees? That's something that looks a little bit weird to me. So either pull your pants down a little bit, um, or find a pair of pants that doesn't, like, get so snug um, towards the top. And then we got Owen. Owen, I, li I like this look. I like the vibe of this look, I should say. I think the blazer and the pants are too close and they don't necessarily match. But I see the like vintage vibe you're trying to go for, even with the shoes. I love the shoes actually. Um, some, uh, reminding me of a pair that I had, a pair of penny loafers I had a while back that I, I haven't worn in a really long time. Interesting choice with a navy navy t-shirt. It works. I think I would have gone with a white one, makes it a lot more clean. And again, uh, uh, 
if the blazer is vintage, it's fine that it's a little oversized, but again, watch out with how you match the colors. Otherwise, if it's not meant to be oversized, you gotta make sure you get your blazer in the proper size. And then finishing up today with AQ Official in a very street look that I personally wouldn't pull off, but he is. Let's break it down. Um, we got the jacket, obviously the highlight of the look, which always looks like, a, like an orange fireman's jacket. Then we got a pair of pants that he cuffed up that has an orange strip on the side with a tan. Now, I'm assuming that even though the black, it, uh, even though the black, it, even though the jacket has black in it, um, the brown belt is because the pants are tan. But honestly, I probably would have foregone that and gone for a more street, not a leather, like not a leather belt, like a more street belt um, in black. Uh, I like the white base that works for me, and especially picking that back up with the chunky sneakers, which is obviously super fashionable. And then even though uh, the, the beanie is yellow, so it doesn't quite match the color palette of everything, but it's interesting to me um, that it just works. It works. Maybe maybe um, with your skin tone in between, it just it, it works. I wouldn't have opted for it and the black belt. And that's it, guys. <sighs> Man, I always have so many things, like I see all of your outfits and honestly, I'm like, I wanna remind you guys, fashion is, is obviously about self-expression, so I'm always trying to be a little bit more mellow with my feedback because I want you guys to express yourselves the way you feel like you wanna express yourselves. Whether I like it or not, I'm obviously trying to just give you a little bit of feedback on what I would do. So I hope you guys are learning from this, uh, whether or not your outfit was featured, learning from what others do right, what others do wrong, and trying to take that lesson and uh, integrate it into your own style and your own wardrobe and your own styling. Thank you very much for watching. I know a bunch of you are gonna ask for the next one, so I'm gonna sit down right now, uh, change the shirt and act like it's another day, and I'm gonna give you guys another video because I wanna keep talking about your guys' outfits. I wanna get through all of them. So, it's been a day. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave your comments down below. Let's start a conversation. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you one more time. I'll see you soon with the next one. Until then, stay dapper.